there is regulation in every type of payments, right? So if you look at high value payments and uh, RTGS and cross border, there's been a drive since 2020 to move to ISO 20 or 22. And, and the large markets have all moved. So with Target 2 and Euro 1 in Europe moving in to ISO in 23, we had UK moving in June 23 as well, and now the Fed wire in, in, in the US moving to that as well. Uh, and that won't stop when ISO will, will keep happening. Uh, ISO won't go away. Uh, I don't know if people know the uh, hybrid addresses, which is mandating the town and the country for every high value payment and swift payment that you do is going to be mandated, well, well, not mandated, but coming in from November 25. But I don't know if you know this, from November 26, if you're making a, a payment cross-border or SWIFT, if you don't have an hybrid address, it's not going to be allowed. This, the schema will just not allow it. So you need to have town and country there. So ISO will keep happening. When you mention ISO, I strongly believe we are just starting the journey, actually. And uh, most, most of the banks have taken that as a tick-the-box exercise and be technically ready. Uh, but they still need to, to leverage this now. And the address, structure of the address is one example that will come very soon. Uh, but there is much more to be done, effectively. Yeah.